A Peabody today goes to Sichuan Television for extraordinary work under terrifying and trying circumstances. When that massive earthquake struck the province of central China, the very first video images captured by Sichuan TV were carried by networks around the world. The early word we've had from Wenchuan County, two-thirds of the buildings there have either been destroyed or are badly damaged, and that's like a place like Billings, Montana, or maybe Berkeley, California, almost being totally flattened. That's just one area of the quake zone. Rescue operations continue uh, around the epicenter of the quake at that school you mentioned where those 900 kids were buried, about 50 bodies had been pulled out. At that factory, thousands remain trapped beneath the debris. Everywhere around this region, rows of houses and buildings have simply collapsed, which is why this death toll is expected to go much higher. Because journalists cover stories and the staff is currently covering the anniversary, as you all know, of the quake, accepting today will be a Peabody board member, Ya Ying Chan. Thank you very much. Uh, this is, today is indeed a historic day. This award honors not only Sichuan TV, but all good journalists in China. The coverage of the earthquake shows that when confronted with crisis, Chinese journalists can rise to the occasion. Yes, tell it like it is, journalism is very much alive in China. It has not been easy, but the struggle for good journalism must continue. Here and everywhere, and in China, no less. Thank you for the recognition. Thank you very much. Thank you.